has spent a lot uh, for personalizing medicine and we have uh, now validated the concept of uh, KERAS and um, what it means in patients with metastatic colorectal cancer is that if these patients have a KERAS mutation um, that they will not benefit from an anti-EGFR targeted antibody cetuximab but if they have a KERAS wild type uh, uh, tumor means that their benefit is much larger. We know that 60% of patients are KRS wild type, 40% are KRS mutant. Uh, and this can also lead to some potential uh, uh, major benefits for the patients. For instance, also patients in the first line with metastatic colorectal cancer, with unresectable disease. Um, if you treat these patients, KRS wild type patients, with a combination of Folfox or Folfurine plus Cetuximab, then the metastasis can be downsized, can become smaller, so that they can become resectable. And so in some situations, this may lead to a uh, to cure of the patients. Do you think that it's useful to, to work with biomarkers that are, that are in a, in a very small population, I mean, as you said, a 5%, a 10%. That's a very good question, but a difficult question. Um, it may be useful in the longer term, but it may be extremely difficult to validate and to prove that, what, uh, what's the significance of these markers. But the example of BRAF, um, for instance, in colorectal cancer, between 5 and 8% of patients have a BRAF mutation. What could one think of in the future is that with using a selective BRAF, uh, uh, a drug that uh, works on the BRAF, uh, only in BRAF mutant patients, and there are some of these BRAF, uh, uh, some of these molecules, uh, that they may target a small number of patients with colorectal cancer with BRAF mutant uh, um, patient uh, tumor. BRAF mutations are m more frequent than other disease sites. So what we learn in colorectal cancer may then also have some extension in other diseases. For instance, melanoma, uh, around 40% uh, of patients with melanoma mm. have a BRAF mutation. And a BRAF mutant inhibitor may work uh, in this group of patients.